in Soviet Russia, Black Widow sues you. Ah, the saga that is Black Widow is still continuing, folks. Things just got a little more interesting as the streaming versus theater release wars go on. Scarlett Johansson, star of such films as Avengers Endgame, Avengers, Black Widow, Marriage Story, I don't know, a bunch of other stuff. Anyway, she is suing Disney because she was promised, well not promised, legally obligated to be paid, uh, I guess on the back end of the the release of the film but when they undercut her by releasing it on disney plus i don't think she got any of that disney plus money so let's take a look at the article and break it down for you folks okay so she is streaming over the or suing over the streaming release because it was a breach of contract i think she's gonna have a pretty good case and this could change the way that we uh get materials distributed on streaming services We'll have to wait and see how it all turns out, but Black Widow has a new enemy, the Walt Disney Company. She filed a lawsuit on Thursday in Los Angeles Superior Court against Disney, alleging her contract was breached when the media giant released the film on Disney Plus at the same time. I'm pretty sure, and I'm sure they'll get into the details of this, uh, they claim that they made an extra $60 million on the streaming service i think it was like 30 dollars for uh to sign up for premiere access on disney plus uh, what they're saying the disney spokesman spokesman of course says there's no merit and it's sad and distressing given the callous disregard for the horrific and prolonged global effect of covid 19 so you gotta blame the coof for this and they said it fully complied with her contract Oh, and she, there's saying that she got more money for streaming anyway. This is going to be interesting because the theaters were also considering suing Disney over the fact that they released it. Let's see. Uh, the suit is noting that <laughs> Disney chairman Robert Iger and chief executive uh, chief exe Bob Chapek are tied to the performance of Disney Plus, but she's not tied to the to Disney Plus very interesting looks like um let's see what else is in here she's obviously they go through her history that she's an integral character um there's she's saying that the move to put it on disney plus was projected to cost her 50 million dollars <laughs> i don't know i'd probably sue for 50 million dollars granted uh, let's just bounce before we, we go any further let's look at this back in 2019 scarlett johansson was the highest paid actress of the year uh, that was uh, Jojo Rabbit, Marriage Story, and Avengers Endgame. And uh, yeah, she making that bread so she can hire them big time lawyers to make sure that this happens. What happened for this is uh, on its July 9th opening weekend, Black Widow grossed $80 million at the domestic box office, $78 million overseas, and then another $60 million of that cheddar over at home purchases. Like I said, it was $30 for home purchases on Disney+. Plus. And uh, it's the first time they ever even mentioned how much money they made, which pissed everybody off, including, as I said earlier, the National Association of Theater Owners, which um, they are also going to go after Disney. Disney painting a target on its back. Uh, let's go to what they talk about with the Black Widow here, though. Uh, what's, what is also fascinating, it could be the worst grossing movie of the MCU. Uh, it started off kind of strong, as we said with the with the box so box office. The July 9th debut was, but its second week out, it got pummeled by everything else. Uh, they're saying they refer to it as the most stunning crash in Marvel Cinematic history. I don't have what the different weeks did. I don't think I pulled that. Maybe I can I can check that out. But they're saying that it, it did about as much as some of older movies like 
uh, let's see here. It grows the same as the 175 to 180 million dollars as the first Captain America, Ant Man, and Thor movies. They're also saying ticket prices were sh were much less back then, and they didn't have access to home streaming. So there's a lot of extra factors in there. I mean, they can they can afford to cough up a little more money in in her swan song they also blame the fact that the it's a low stakes movie like obviously nothing could happen to her you know there's nothing was going to happen to her character because we know in the end that she has to go back spoilers and finish off you know infinity wars and end game let's just see this stunning crash here all right so what they're saying it opened on july 9th but are they going to give us anything else push it near 200 million they're saying but it had a 69 percent decline its second week so it only collected 26 million and there's uh, the national theater owners were saying it's a stunning second weekend collapse uh, let's see the clarify they don't give us any more getting good information but i do think that this will have a substantial impact going forward on how these things get viewed and just what it means for streaming going in the future you know uh they're putting a lot of money into the streaming services and theaters got bailed out but we don't really know the extent of it it looks like the two can coexist, but these lawsuits will certainly determine the future of how we view movies here in the States. So not sure what's going to happen next, but I thought it was important for you guys to know that this was a, this is a pretty big deal out there for you guys and for us as fans. You know, will this be the end? I mean, not just the end of Scarlett Johansson, but the end of her relationship with them. Will she never get in? I mean, if you sue the mouse, I'm pretty sure... Uh, the mouse is gonna come after you it's gonna send some fellas to come talk to you anyway be sure to like subscribe and check out our full-length audio podcast which is streaming live on youtube 7 30 eastern standard time that's p.m for you folks out there be sure to catch us then come interact got plenty of comments got lots to talk about you're gonna have a good time because we have a good time and from all of us here at our reviews we'll kill you to all of y'all at home we love y'all, and I'm definitely on to the next one.